Hello, Alfonso. Good evening. How are you? Thank you, sir. Good evening. I'm fine. Good evening. Yes. <laughs> How was your day, mister? Uh, para decir, muy cansado. Very tiring. Very tired. Really? It's very, very tired. Why? <laughs> Why was it too tired for you? Or the week. Uh, all, all the week is toda la semana. Eh? All week. All week. All week and clean the machine is. Machines. 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 Eh, pero la limpieza profunda que. Deep cleaning. Deep. Deep. Deep, Deep cleaning. Deep cleaning. Limpieza profunda. Yep. Okay. Deep cleaning. Deep cleaning. Deep cleaning. Entonces, it's very, very tired. Oh, really? Wow. The mm. mad more is the, um, the chemic. The chemicals. Chemicals. Is, how do you say? Molesta un poco. And really, they bother you? Well, yeah, chemicals, they irritate. Yes. And yesterday, one problem, uh, the one magic machine. Oh, really? Yes. Nos tocó unos compañeros solucionarlo. Teníamos el vehículo arriba. Teníamos que bajarlo. Oh, really? Big problems. Oh, yeah, I imagine. For, for, uh, ah, vamos a ver, no sé cómo se llama. Eh, las poleas. Yeah, donde what va, happened donde, va, donde van los cables. Yes, the tensors. The tensors, um, ¿cómo se llama el...? el El eje, el eje, el eje que sostiene. Uh -huh. es, eh, no. El tensor se había salido de, de la polea y estaba dañando el, 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 el perno. Oh, really? Ok, de, de eje, that's the axis. De eje, that's the axis. Axis, axis or axis? Axis. axis. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> el, ¿va a decir procedimiento? The procedure. The procedure? Yes. The procedure is uh, aflojar the tensor. To lose. To, to lose. To lose. To lose the tensor. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Lose. Late lose. Okay. Lose. Lose. It's a uh, aflojar. Lose. Aflojar. Entonces es. Uh, Lose the tensor. Aflojar el cable. Okay, yeah. For you have to lose the tensor. Para volver a, so, volver a su carrera. So the poly could move. Okay. Or to put it back on its track. Okay. To put it back on its track to put it back on its track para ponerlo en el carril ah yes good evening good evening Evelyn good evening. well it was 
Very interesting, Alfonso. Yes, more, <laughs> much. Uh -huh. Well, thank you very much. Let's see, we are going to greet somebody else. Vamos a saludar a alguien más. Walter Ruiz. Hello, mister. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. How are you, mister? Uh, fine. How was your day? Uh, my busy day. Morning, morning to morning. Oh, really? The morning was yeah. more difficult for you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Why? Well, what about the afternoon? Not that much problem? No, it's more relaxing. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. See, morning is crazy. Well, yeah, that happens. That happens. The good thing is that you are here in class, mister. That's great. Where is it? The good thing is to have you here in class. Lo bueno yeah. es tenerlo ya en clase. That's great. Very... Let's see, let's see. Thank you very much, Walter. Mr. Luis Armando Leiva, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. How are How you? How are you, mister? I'm just fine. What about you? Okay. Well, I... Uh, my day is very hot now. Already? Well, uh, I, I had a terrible day because uh, I was uh, checking a report on uh, the analysis of a water, a, a drinking water systems. Um, really? Yeah, in, um, in the morning, in the morning, all morning. And also have meeting of four hours of in the afternoon. Four hours I, in a meeting? Oh. Yeah, yeah. It's a video llamada. Oh, a video conference. Be, uh, yeah, okay. Video conference is, is very tired for me. But, okay, well. But, but I, I am here and ready for the class. That's great, that's great. Thank you very much. Evelyn, good evening. How are you? Evelyn. Good evening. Good evening. Very fine. How was your Very day, fine. Evelyn? Um, I have a day, a good day. A good day? Cool. Yes. That's interesting. Um, um, uh, um, uh, that, um, uh, como puedo decir tranquilo? Can busy be? but calm. Busy but calm. It's like this. Busy but calm. Okay, that's cool. That's actually great. So tell me, Evelyn, what time did you get home today? Ah, this day um, uh, I arrived to seven, seven, five. Seven? Okay, that's one hour ago. That's okay, no? Yes, yes, this day, uh, uh, I say, <laughs> fast. Oh, really? Okay, what you mean is this. Lo que quiero realmente entender es esto. I got too fast. I got too uh, throw, fast. Throw is pasar? True. No, eso es atravesar. True. Oh, I got through. I got yes, through. Through, como TH? No. I got through. Through, como si no llevara la G y la H. O through. Through, through, through. 
Yeah, I got true. 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 Yep. Es que sí lleva la G y la H, pero es un sonido muy suave. True. Okay. I got true. Mm. True. Okay, well, interesting, Evelyn. Thank you very much. Sandra, hello, good evening. How are you? Sandra, you here with me? Perhaps, no. Okay, Sonia. Hello. Hello. How are good you? Evening. Good evening. I'm fine. How was your day? I had a good day, but busy. Okay. I don't believe you the thing of the good day. You are like, I have a good day. Come on. More attitude. I'm you say that I, a good day is like a good day. No, like, oh, I have a good day. Come on. Y llorando. <laughs> yeah. That doesn't qualify as a good day. Come on. So tell me, what time did you get home tonight? I got at home at 7.20 p.m. At 7.20 p.m.? Okay. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. 7.20, wow. Yeah. So, was there a lot of traffic? No, no traffic in, in Mi Camino, for my on my, way? on my way, yes, exactly, perfect. So there was not that much traffic. That's cool, excellent. That's nice, that's nice. Are you ready with the homework? What homework? What homework? No homework, no, don't I... worry. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. There's no homework, I'm just kidding. A broma. Okay, thank you, Sonia. Okay. Vladimir, good evening. How are you, mister? With problems with audio, I think, because I cannot listen to you, Vladimir. I have a question. Yes, tell me, Sonia. Voy a preguntar en español. Yes, ¿Cómo please. se dice um, de apoyo para algo? What? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo digo en inglés que di apoyo para hacer algo? Oh, I gave support. I gave. I gave support. Yes, because that's in the past. Gabe. Okay. Thank you. Gabe is the simple pass of the verb give. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. I gave support. Okay. Let's see. Thank you very much, Sonia. Elizabeth, okay. good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Mm, more or less. More or less. How was your day? A difficult day? I am sick. The head. Oh, you, you got sick? You got a headache? Headache. Nah, headaches are bad. They are terrible. I don't like headaches. Sí. Well, yeah, they are terrible, but anyway, what can we do? ¿Qué podemos hacer? Eh? Have you taken something for the headache? Have you taken a painkiller? Uh, a painkiller. Oh, I'm sorry. I just sent it to somebody. Uh, okay. Have you taken a painkiller? That's calmante. Painkiller? Yes. No, I don't, I don't know. No, ¿Ha tomado un, un calmante for the headache? Yes. Oh, that's good. That's good. Let's hope it makes it takes effect. 
Esperemos que haga efecto. Okay, let me put this thing in silence. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. Hate when this happens. Okay, perfect. Let's see. Thank you very much, Daisy. I'll let you rest a little bit. Let's see. Let's see. Vladimir, now. Hello, how are you? Good teacher, how about you? I'm just great. How was your day, mister? Uh, well, that's okay. A good day? Yes, a good day. That's nice, that's nice. Tell me, what time did you finish working? Uh, I check out at 4.30. Okay. Did you have lunch today? Because yesterday you yes, didn't. Yes, today, today I go to the cafeteria at 11.45. <laughs> oh, cool. And tell me, what was there for lunch? Sorry? What was there for lunch? Oh, uh, well, it was fish, salad, okay. and vegetables. Cool. Fish? Fried fish? No, the long empanizada. Oh, really? Bread? That's nice. That's actually fish a uh, bread fish slice no a bread yes a uh, bread that fish is like this. that would be like a bread yes a bread fish no a slice my gosh a slice of bread fish like this a slice of bread fish yes. vegetable um salad that's my okay. lunch it that was, was my lunch cool. that was cool be fit I like, <laughs> yeah, actually in my case i love i love slices of bread fish me encanta la lonja but i i love uh robalo robalo is good okay Some, i don't yeah, know what that's... kind of fish i eat sorry <laughs> That's a nice, delicious fish. I like it. Well, interesting. Thank you very much, Vladimir. I'm going to okay. get somebody else here. Susana, my dear. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Hi. Good evening. Hello, Susana. How are you today? I'm good. Today, um, it was a quiet day. Oh, really? It's relaxed. Yes. Okay, so tomorrow is different because I have a meeting and I do a report. I don't finish. Oh, really? Wow. Okay, I need you to check something in the chat. Okay, call me. I say call me. Yes, because when you say quiet, it means. Ah, okay. You're the key. Okay. Okay, understand. So, tomorrow you got a meeting? Yes. Uh, In I the don't like meetings. I, me neither. Yeah. And I want well, to, I, I am, voy a trabajar en la clase. Okay, okay, I understand you. Well, you know, Luis, our classmate here, he was in a meeting today for four hours. That's, yes. Horrible, stressful. I mean, <laughs> long meetings. It's terrible. For me are, it's terrible. Yeah, I know, Luis. I know. Today I had a meeting, oh, but you. today I had a meeting, but it was just like two hours. Two hours of meeting is something horrible, but I can take it. But four hours is terrible. Thank you, Susana. It's necessary. To okay. Mr. Arana, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I am fine. Thank you, teacher. And I am a little tired. A little bit tired. Oh, okay. Did you have a difficult day today? Yes. Um, in the world, 
Uh, Adwar. Now, uh, sorry, Adwar uh, now prepare the social security form and APP is uh, IPS, FH, taxes, uh, they are due tomorrow. Oh um, my must gosh. be 3 p.m. Uh, they're terrible. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Terrible, horrible, actually. You have a lot to do, mister. Mucho por hacer. Yeah. Yeah. So tomorrow, tomorrow is going to be a heavy day for you. Tomorrow, I que correr. <laughs> yeah, you got to run. Yes. You have to run. And Monday, a payroll. 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 ¿Cómo se dice? Ese es otro, otro pendiente. Ok, that's another pendant. Another pendant. Uh, we can... I... Uh, preocupado. A warrior? Yes. Uh, um, uh, the projection income and expenses is is difficult. Oh, the, okay. the, the proximate week the is como le digo eh, la proyección se hace Los lunes. Okay, you make Pero the projection lunes, on Monday. On Monday. Uh, as difficult is Monday, I pay roll. Oh, so the if on Monday you have to prepare the payroll and you have also to do the projection, that's when it gets difficult for you, right? Yes. Cuando tiene que hacer yes. ambas cosas. Yes. I get you, I get you. Uh, it's difficult. I can imagine. Well, let's forget a little bit about that. Olvidémonos un ratito de ello, okay? We're going to work with something else. Thank you very much, Walter. Let's see, guys. Well, it's time for me to get the attendance. Let's see, let's see. Just give me a second. I need to get this. Where is it? It's right here. Today is 11. Alfonso Antonio Cabrera. Present teacher. Arvin Enrique Ramos. Present teacher. Berta Maritza Molina de Villalta. Here, Claudia Guadalupe Alfaro López. Here. Daisy Elizabeth Celaya Gómez. Present teacher. Thank you. Edwin Daniel Sevillano Deras. Present teacher. Evelyn Patricia Caballero de Molina. Present teacher. Ivania Elizabeth Rodriguez Ramos. Karen Lisset García Rodríguez. Luis Armando Leiva Roda. Present teacher. Thank you. Mauricio Arnoldo Quintanilla Cuellar. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Rodríguez Rodríguez. Ricardo Alberto Hernández Monje. Roxana Claribel Trejos de Pérez. Sandra Yanira Moreno Sarabia. Sonia Mabel Lazo González. Present. Thank you. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Vladimir Antonio Martínez Molina. Present teacher. Walter Alexander Arana Cortés. Present teacher. Walter José Ruiz Ayala. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay. 
okay. Perfect, let's see, let's see. Well, hello, hello, Arvin, hello, Mauricio. Hello, the rest of you, hello, Edwin. Today we are going to make a, not a review, but we are going to put into practice the have to and the need to, okay? You remember that yesterday I was explaining to you how to use have to and how to use need to, okay? And I have something prepared for you, something that I want to show you, okay? Let me share with you. Let me compartirlo. Okay, let's see, let's see. Where is it? Is this? Just give me a second, guys. Okay, let's see. Class number nine. Come on, come on, come on. Have to. Today we are going to focus more in have to. Okay, we use have to to express obligation when something is necessary in the present or the future. Okay? Examples. The boys have to study hard. The boy has to wake up at seven o'clock in the morning. That's an obligation, remember. How do we structure the affirmative sentences? Okay, we use the subject, we use have to or has to, plus the verb plus complement. Have to is a special verb. So when we talk about I, you, we, and they, we use have to. But when we talk about she, he, or it, it's different. Look at the example here. You have to arrive on time to classes. When we talk about this one, remember we use has to. And the example, she has to brush her teeth every day. Now, don't have to, the negatives. Do you remember that yesterday you were telling me things that you don't have to do? Okay, so the structure. Well, first idea, we use don't have to to express the absence of obligation. That means when something is not necessary for you to do, okay? What will be the example? Let's check. The children don't have to go to school today. It's a Saturday, so they don't have to. On Saturday, the children don't have the obligation. There is no obligation for them to go to school. Let's check the next sentence. She doesn't have to eat all the fruit. It's not an obligation. If she wants, she can eat some but she doesn't have to eat all the fruit. Now, the negative sentence, the structure, remember, she, the subject, plus, don't have to, or doesn't have to, plus the verb, plus the complement. Now, when do we use don't? Remember, we use don't when we talk about I, you, we, and they. Look at the example. We, as it says here, we don't have to get up early on Sundays. Doesn't. Look, is for she, he, or it. He doesn't have to get up early on Sundays. Okay? Doesn't remember doesn't is for he, she, or it, and the verb, the verb in its simple form, in su forma simple. Why? Because we have the auxiliary. And remember, whenever we have the auxiliary, the main verb doesn't change. El verbo principal no cambia. 
So there's no has here. Has is just for affirmative, not for negative. Okay? So we have, when we have questions, do or does plus the subject plus have to plus the complement. So I, you, we, they have to use which one? Easy. They use do. Now, look. Do I have to? Do you have to? Do we have to? Do they have to? Does. Does applies when we talk about he, she, it, plus they have to. Okay? Questions. Okay. When we have a question, we can have a short answer like, yes, I do. No, I don't. Or yes, he does. No, he doesn't. These are the short questions, okay? Do you have to eat the vegetables? Yes, I do. Or, no, I don't. Does he have to eat the vegetables? Yes, he does. Or, no, he doesn't. Look, if we have he, third person singular, does. The verb doesn't change in the base form. So let's see, we are going to practice now. The following sentences, let's check it out. Okay, let's see, let's see. The first sentence is for, um, num, num, let's see, Edwin, the first sentence is yours. Uh, you have to clean your room? You have to clean your room, perfect. Vladimir, number two is yours. Um, do they have to play football? Okay, do they have to play football? Excellent, thank you. Next one is uh, Arvin. Hi. Yes. I... I don't have make my bread bed. Perfect. The only thing that is missing here, the sentence is the two. I don't have to make my bed. But it was perfect, Arvin. Thank you very much. Now, okay. let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Number four. Number four goes to Evelyn. Please help me out. The four. Number um, four. Uh, she has to do the dishes. Perfect. She has to do the dishes. Okay. Do the dishes means lavar los platos. Okay. Mm, okay. Okay, perfect. Number five, Sonia. Ahorita. He uh, have to. No. It's no, a question. Uh, that, does he? Okay. Does okay. he have to cut the grass? Does he have to cut the grass? Does he have, have to cut the grass? Yes. Perfect. Thank you very much. Grass means grama, el pasto, okay? Um, Number six, Alfonso. Um, she has to study every day. Perfect, Alfonso. Just remember, study. study. She has to study every day. Okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, now we are going to keep on working. We have to complete using have to, has to, don't have to, or doesn't have to. Now, let's look at the sentences. Sara, study hard for the exam. Okay, what do you think goes there, Mr. Arana? Uh, Sara has to study hard for the exam. Study hard for the exam. Okay, Sarah has to. Perfect. Next, David 
clean his room. Let's see. Daisy. David. Daisy. Uh, David. Yes. Has to. Has to. Has, has to clean his room. Okay. Perfect. Has to. Excellent. Number three. I cut the grass every Sunday. Mauricio. Okay. I. I have to cut the grass every Sunday. Okay, perfect, Mauricio. Thank you very much. Number four, Andres, to play football after class. Let's see, Edwin. Andres has to, to play football after class. Okay, Andres has to play football after class. Now, let's see, you... I'm sorry, here is make your bell every day. Ivania. You have to or has to, Ivania? You have to do bell every day. You have to do your bell every day. Perfect. I'm sorry, that was my bell. Perdón aquí. Creo que no lo salí muy bien. Okay, let's check out. We have another sentence, number six. It's a negative. Negative. Let's see who's going to be the lucky one. Mm -hmm. Susana, number six. She? She doesn't have to go to school on Saturday. Okay. She, she doesn't, doesn't have, have to. She doesn't, doesn't have, have to. to go to school. Okay, to go. have to. Perfect. Thank you very much, Susana. Now, let's see. Number seven. I brush my teeth every day. It's an affirmative. Luis Armando Leiva. I have to brush my teeth every day. Okay, perfect. Next one. You... Do the dishes is negative. Let's see, let's see who's missing here. Mr. Ruiz. You don't have. You don't have to do the dishes. Perfect, mister. Thank you very much. Next one says he made his bed in the morning. It's a negative. Okay, let's see. This one is for Vladimir. He doesn't have to make his bed in the morning. Perfect, Vladimir. Thank you very much. Okay, let's see. Excellent. Perfect. As you could see, that one was an easy, cheesy exercise. Un ejercicio very, very simple. Okay, now let's continue. I need you to tell your classmate about two things you have to do every Saturday afternoon and two things you do not have to do every Saturday afternoon. Be careful, take notes, because you are going to report about your classmate. So you are going to use in the conversation, you are going to use first person, okay? When you report to me, remember, you are going to be using the third person. Me van a reportar a su compañero, me van a reportar a mí lo que su compañero hace y lo que no hace on Saturday. Two affirmatives, two negatives, okay? Questions, preguntas? Can, can you repeat please, teacher? You will have to tell your classmate two activities you do on Saturday afternoon, dos actividades que usted hace el sábado, and two activities you don't do on Saturday afternoon. Okay, okay thank you. Thank you. You're teacher. welcome. Okay, guys, hurry up. You have got four minutes for this activity. Let me check. 
No, Vladimir, you are not in two teams. Don't worry. Please, guys, jump in. Okay, let's go check on the groups. Okay. Okay. That work. And um, she go. Another Ivania? Okay. So, one activity you do Saturday? Ahorita. Estaba escribiendo la de la compañera, pero yo escucho entrecortado. <coughs> escucho un poco entrecortado. Ok. She goes. Vaya a tener, usted lo pone por nombre, porque no hacemos las seis primeras de uno de ustedes y luego el otro. Seis. Teacher, seis. Es positiva. No se le oye, no se le oye. I said two and two. Two affirmative, dos y dos. Two ok. Cuatro. Pregunta, ¿se dice hasta mediodía until noon? Yes. Ok. Otros sábados. Monto right bicycle. Bicycle. Se lo puedo. Go to park. Vamos a ver si aquí, aquí se escribe, así, así se dirá. Have to go to the park. Ok, sí. Nunca voy en la tarde. Ok. ¿Y la segunda? ¿Negativa? Um, quiero ver. I don't have... Ok. I don't have she has to go to work. Go to work. So, like I said, he doesn't, he, to work. He, he doesn't have to go to work. He doesn't. He doesn't. Yep, that's perfect. Work, please. And get away the other. I don't have to go to work. And, you know, um, come on, come on, come on, come on. No. Ah, I, I don't have to take a nap. Nap is siesta, verdad? Yes. Okay, I don't have mm -hmm. to take a nap. So in class, por eso no la tomo. Siesta, es eso. Sí, siesta de. ¿Cómo se escribe? No sé cómo se escribe. NAP 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 Entonces usted tiene que decir he doesn't he doesn't have to take to, to take an, a nap. Mhm, uh -huh. a nap. Mhm. Uh -huh. Okay. He doesn't to take a nap. 
Ma. She doesn't have to. Have she to. doesn't. She doesn't. Have to. Have to take a nap. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have he, to take a nap. He doesn't to, to work. Okay. Se lo repito. Las mías son, I have to be in class and I have to take my wife to her workplace. Entonces, y lo que no es, usted tiene que ser una tercera persona. Ajá, he has. He doesn't. Yeah. His news. The, he not, the news. His news. Yeah. You are perfect for me. I had to take a shower every day. I had to take a shower. Todos los fines, todos los sábados, te bañas. We are talking just about Saturdays, Walter. Solo los sábados estamos hablando. Only, only one. Saturday, I shower only one. Por eso que te decía, no. Drama. Only, only one. The other days I had a two shower. Vaya, fíjate que la tuya, la de negativa era, he doesn't have to watch new. Vaya, yeah. sería la positiva, sería He has to Read Bush a book No, esa era la primera La segunda Yo hice primero las negativas Ok mm -hmm. I don't work Saturdays Susana Uh -huh. I don't make breakfast Saturdays. That's cool. That's a... Can you repeat, yes. please? I don't make breakfast Saturdays. No es ahí. Saturdays. No lo no, hago. Make, I don't make. make. No make. hago. Ah. Sí, como, pero no lo hago. <laughs> Rick. Ivania. Hi. You're going to stay tonight with me. Hoy le toca quedarse conmigo. Ah, ok. Ten minutes. Ok. Ok. La PAME, ¿no? La PAME es la mayor y ella hace 36 semanas. <laughs> Hey, Sonia, you got a dimple. Come What? You got a dimple. Ah, sí. Uno. Aquí no she's tengo got, nada. She's got a dimple. No sabía que así se decía. Dimple. Dimple. Yes. Bueno, sir. You finished, right? Right. Yes. Just be a little bit patient because in the other groups there are three members, okay? Ah, okay. And in this group, there is Sonia, Vladimir, and Vladimir. <laughs> Sorry, I told you. No, I, no, problem. no problem. In two teams. Es que no me sirve la, la, el micrófono de la laptop. Le metí Linux y no agarró el driver. Tengo que buscarle. Tengo que ir a pelear para buscar el driver de la, del micrófono. Yeah, the same happened to me with Linux, but uh, the problem I got is when I, uh, when I want to project through the HDMI cable. Cuando trato de proyectar con el HDMI. No le agarra el HDMI. Yes, I can watch the video, but not the audio. Oh my gosh. No me, no me transmite el audio. Híjole. That's the problem of Linux teacher. Yeah. You need to do, you have to do. <laughs> yeah, man, but that's terrible. Yes. But, but it's... How do you say? It's fantastic. Linux is fantastic. You can do a lot of things in Linux. Yeah, Linux. when you when you have the time to. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. A yeah, lot of hackers. Can... A lot of hackers use Linux for for hacking. It's better. Yeah. 
Yeah, but in my case, I mean, I need to dust off a lot of information. En mi caso, tengo que desempolvar my brain in order to remember some of those things. Oh, really? Yeah. Yes, I mean, that's the problem with, with Linux. You have to read for use it. Yeah, to use it. That's to the difference. It. To use it, that's the difference with Windows. Uh, Windows is pretty, pretty friendly. Yes, you, did you see the notice that I sent you today? Yeah, the news. The news, uh, the news. Yeah, is, but uh, is, the re, is the reason for a lot of computers are crashed down? Yeah, I will go back. Uh, I'm sorry, I will go into Spanish. Lo que voy a hacer es Eh, retroceder en el tiempo para la última versión que me funcionó bien y desactivar de las actualizaciones perhaps eso haga por el momento hasta que hasta que la corrija es lo mejor yeah. Entonces, tiene algún punto de restauración I hope so voy a revisar se suponía que sí okay. if not if not I will erase the, the, the... Si no voy a borrar el sistema operativo <risa> I mean, whatever. Le borro sistema operativo okay. y le trago de nuevo Windows. Who cares? <laughs> I got a crack. I got a crack somewhere here. Por acá tengo un craqueado. That is going to help. Que me va a servir de algo. Windows 10 craqueado. Yeah. I be be careful Windows. with the crack because a lot of cracks sometimes they has and Trojans, be careful. Yeah, no, no, but this one, uh, the person who passed it to me is, uh, he works with a uh, beautiful system. The person I told you once, the person- Ah, your, your brother-in-law? Yeah, he oh, works right. with uh, Yes. He knows what uh, he passes to me. And um, no, how do you say, no he dicho nada. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And Sonia says, what are they talking about? <laughs> yeah. she, she says, man, I'm always yeah. talking about computers. Yeah. Some men <laughs> talk about cars, some men talk about computers. Algunos hablan de carros, otros hablan de computadoras. But actually, in my case, both things. I love cars, too. Me, too. I love cars. What what car you got? I'm sorry. What type of car you got? What brand? Uh, Toyota. And I like sedans from with a little motor, like Yaris, like Agia. Well, I got a Yaris. Really? A one yeah, one point three liters. One point three liters is from yeah. Japan or, or from America? The one from Japan is the from the one from the agency. Oh, really? It's good to uh, hear that. Small thing. Yeah, it's pretty economic. I used to have a, before that one, I had a, a Civic 1994 modified. Antes tenía un Civic 94 modificado. Before that, I had a, a Corolla S. Modified. Ooh. Before that, I had a Civic 2002 modified. <laughs> wow. I used, Are I you used to love running. <laughs> I used to love running. Me gustaba correr, but I was uh, young at that time. Okay. No, I don't. I don't like running. I uh -oh. used to. I used to. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Let's go back. You are going to start, guys, because this is just you two. Okay. Okay. Be ready. Okay, let's just wait, let's just wait. People is coming back.
Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Vladimir, tell me please about Sonia's activity. Okay. Sonia on Saturday. Uh, sorry, sorry. Okay. Sonia on Saturday has to go to supermarket. She has to do the laundry. She doesn't have to go to her workplace. If she doesn't have to wash her car. Okay, perfect. Just one little thing, Vladimir. One little slip of your tongue. Esto solamente tuvo un slip of your tongue. Slip of your tongue. Oops. Sorry, what happened? Of your tongue. Sorry. Okay, you just had a small slip of your tongue. Solo se le fue una palabrita. I. And, Vladimir, and, remember. I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> okay, Sonia, your turn, please. Vladimir on Saturday, uh, he has to be in class. He has to take his wife to workplace. Okay. And he doesn't to go to work he, and he doesn't have to take a nap. Okay. He doesn't have to work or he doesn't have to go to work. And he to go to work. He takes his wife to her workplace. Okay. To her workplace. El her no me lo dijo. Ah, okay. Good. Okay, thank you very much. Now let's see, let's see. Alfonso, Alfonso is like willing to tell me, Alfonso, about uh, either Ivania or Susana. One of them. Um, oh, Ivania. Okay, tell me about Ivania. Ivania, she goes to the war on Saturdays. She mm -hmm. does homework while here. Those, those, those there, those there. With, with her daughter. Daughter, correct. She doesn't visit your mom on on Saturday afternoon. Her if she mom. Her mom. Her mom. Her mom. Sorry. Her mom. Her mom. Okay. Uh, she doesn't drive. Uh, throughout the city of the San Salvador, along uh, all on on the highway. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much, Ivania. Please tell me about Susana. Um, Susana um, does the house cleaning and. Okay. Um, she does take grandfather a doctor. Okay. She and has to take. She take. has to take her grandfather to the doctor. Okay. Um, the negative. Um, Susanna doesn't at work Saturday. Doesn't and have to work on Saturday. Have to work doesn't have to work on Saturdays. Doesn't have to work. And she doesn't have, have to make breakfast, breakfast. Okay. Perfect, thank you very much. Now, Susana, please tell me about Alfonso's activities. In Saturdays, Alfonso, he visit his son he goes to the park uh, in the afternoon. Okay, he perfect. doesn't work on Saturdays and he doesn't talk to his classmate. 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 And talk. 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 La L no me suena antes de la K, okay? Talk. talk. Ah, okay. Okay, talk. Perfect. Thank you talk very much. Classmate. 
Now let's see, Daisy, you start. Tell me either Mauricio or Walter. Mauricio. Okay, tell me about Mauricio. Um, he doesn't. One Saturday on Monday, I work until now. Until noon. Until now. He doesn't. He doesn't sometimes write um, a bite with my song, with your song. His song. His song. His, su, de. His song. Okay, thank you, Daisy. Now, uh, let's see, in your group was Mr. Mauricio, tell me please about Walter Arana. Okay, uh, he works on Saturday until noon. He has to work on Saturday. He has to work on Saturday until noon. He okay. has to visit your family. Her his family. family. His, his family. family. His family. Negative. She, he doesn't play soccer on Saturday. Okay. He doesn't sleep on Saturday afternoons. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you very much. Walter, tell me about Daisy, please. Okay. Uh... What Daisy does on Saturday is work all Saturday. So and remember, Walter, she mm -hmm. has to work. She okay. has to work on Saturday. She has to work all, all Saturday. And she has to visit my in laws. Your in laws, Walter? Here, here, in love. Sorry. Perfect. Thank you. I was worried, Walter. You are in trouble. You are in trouble. I'm <laughs> Sorry. I'm um, negative. Uh, she does not go to supermarket on Saturday. Okay. Perfect. And she doesn't uh, bat the dog on Saturday. She doesn't have to. Bath the dog. Bath the dog. Yes. Perfect. Thank you very much. Arvin, please. Tell me about yes, teacher. Evelyn or Luis. Um, Luis. Tell me about Luis. Uh, he, he has to buy pupusas. Mm. Um, he have a two clean uh, he car in the afternoon. He has to clean his car. His car, okay, in the afternoon. Perfect. Um, okay, and negative. Uh, he don't have a go to the park. He doesn't um, have to go to the doesn't. park. He doesn't, excuse me. Um, he doesn't um, uh, have to go to the supermarket in the afternoon. Perfect. Thank you very much. You were talking about Mr. Uh, where are you, Mr. Mr. Lewis? Mr. Lewis, yes. please. Tell me about your classmate. You are going to tell me about uh, Evelyn. Okay. The positive form. She has to class on Saturday. Okay. She has to laundry on Saturday. 
in negative form. She doesn't have to go to work. And she doesn't have to play soccer. That's all. Okay, perfect. Excellent, thank you very much. Now let's see. Evelyn, please tell me about Arvin's activity. Okay. Um, he, ha he has to do report weekly in on Saturday. He has to go to the church on the Saturday. Uh, he doesn't have to drive motorcycle in Saturday. He doesn't have to visit his parents in Saturday, on Saturday. Perfect, thank you very much. Now let's see, the last group was Edwin, Sandra and Walter. So Edwin, you start tell me either about Sandra or Walter. Sandra. Okay, tell me about Sandra. Sandra, Sandra uh... For Saturday, the afternoon, she has to take she has to take care of her nephew nephews. Okay. She has to play with her nephews. She doesn't have to cook, and she doesn't have to listen to music in the car. Okay. Cool. Excellent. Thank you. Now, Sandra, tell me please about Mr. Ruiz. Walter has to read, no sé cómo se pronuncia, Wucha, but, Wucha, creo que dijo, creo que es un libro asiático, me... pero oh, no sé cómo okay. se pronuncia, Wucha. Ok, ok, continue. He has to take a one shower. Ok. Cool. Walter, is... Walter does have to watch new he he doesn't have to take a bus a bus a bus okay thank you please walter thank tell me about elwin <clears throat> okay teacher elwin he has to read this book he says this book i don't know but but uh, Elvin, he has to cook for his family. Okay. He doesn't mm -hmm. have to rest all day. He doesn't have to call clients. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much, guys. Remember, I repeat, when we say, thank you for the activity, it was perfect, all of you. Remember, when I use have to, I am expressing an obligation. If I use don't have to or doesn't have to, I am expressing the absence of an obligation. Now, I want to make something clear. Quiero que algo nos quede muy claro. Oops, but before that, I need to take the attendance. Pero antes de ello, necesito tomar la asistencia again. Alfonso Antonio Cabrera. Present teacher. Arvin Enrique Ramos Mundo. Present teacher. Berta Maritza Molina de Villalta. Claudio Guadalupe Alfaro López. Daisy Elizabeth Zelaya Gómez. Present teacher. Edwin Daniel Sevillano Dera. Present teacher. Evelyn Patricia Caballero de Molina. Present teacher. Ivania Elizabeth Rodríguez Ramos. Present teacher. Karen Lisset García Rodríguez. Luis Armando Leiva Roda. Present teacher. Mauricio Arnoldo Quintanilla Cuellar. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Rodríguez Rodríguez. Ricardo Alberto Hernández Monge. Roxana Claribel Trejo de Pérez. Absent. Sandra Yanira Moreno Sarabia. Present. Sonia Mabel Lazo González. Present teacher. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. 
Vladimir Antonio Martínez Molina. Present teacher. Walter Alexander Arana Cortés. Present teacher. Walter José Ruiz Ayala. Present teacher. Perfect. Thank you very much. Okay. Something that I need to get clear to everybody is the following. Okay, guys. Please, I need you to remember when I say I, I don't. I don't have to, okay? If I am using this, I used to use some words for I don't have to, what am I telling you? Okay, look, I don't have to clean the house. An example, I need you to be clear on something. Necesito que estemos claros en algo. This is working as, esto me está funcionando as an auxiliary, okay? This expression works as an auxiliary, okay? The main verb of the sentence is right here. El verbo principal de la oración está allá. So if I say in the affirmative, I have to cook every day. Again, look, the have to is working as an auxiliary, as I told you before. So don't have to is an auxiliary. Have to is working also as an auxiliary. This auxiliary expresses obligation. That means that after the auxiliary, we have a verb, clean in this case, and cook in this case is, this is the main verb. Este es el verbo principal, okay? This is what we are going to call the main verb of the sentence, okay? So the main verb is clean. Here, the main verb is cook. And as it comes, como viene, after the particle to, como viene después de la partícula to, the verb has to be in this loop. El verbo tiene que estar in its base form. Siempre va a estar en la base form. Why? Because comes after to. Ok. Como viene después del to, we always place it in the base form. Questions about this? Preguntas? No questions? Perfect. Let me share with you this little image. There you go. Okay, let's see. Preguntas con esa pequeña explicación? No? Okay. It's something that I need you to remember. In English, we use a lot of auxiliary. In English, utilizamos auxiliary. Many, plenty. We use would, could, have to, need to. Those work as an auxiliary. Quiere decir que al ser un auxiliar, they are not the main verb of the sentence. No son el verbo principal de la oración. The main verb of the sentence comes after it. El verbo principal viene después de él. And in this case, uh, well, with all the auxiliaries, con todos los auxiliares, after the auxiliary, you will place a verb in the base form. Después de cualquier auxiliar, usted me va a poner un verbo en su base form. It doesn't matter if it's would, could, should. Eso lo van a ir viendo más adelante. Ok. Must. Ahora. Ok. 
uh, will, the auxiliary for the future is also considered a modal need to have to those auxiliaries after all the auxiliaries what you got is a verb in the base form después de eso todos esos verbos que le he puesto ahí son verbos auxiliares se les conoce como verbos de modo ¿Okay? después de todos los verbos de modo siempre usted me va a colocar un verbo en su forma base qué quiere decir eso para nosotros sería más fácil entenderlo como presente ok but all the time the verb in the base form that's mandatory eso está en piedra ok it won't change never any question pregunta no ok perfect Let's continue because today, as I told you, it was going to be a practice. We are going to go to page number 14 in the manual. I'm, I'm sorry, page 24 in the manual, okay? Page 24 from your manuals, página 24 del manual. What do we have there? Okay, we have a text. According to this text, we have to read about Mr. Wilson, then check the check the correct sentences and correct the wrong one. Aquí hay unas oraciones que están correctas y unas que no correctas. We are going to check it. Let's see. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I'm a human resources manager. Every day, I check emails for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to potential employees. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We have to attend a conference on July 21st, and then we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. I am always busy. I repeat, hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I am a human resources manager. Every day, I check emails for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to potential employees. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We have to attend a conference on July 21st, and then we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. I am always busy. Okay, guys. Let's see. Number one. His name is John Wilkins. Tell me, is that correct or not? Not correct. Okay, so you are telling me that this is false. What is the correct? His name what is John Wilson. His name is oops, sorry, John Wilson. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Now he writes reports every day. That's correct or not correct? Not correct. Let me see, let me see. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let's see. Number two, he writes reports every day. Ivania, what do you think? Um, he check email. No. Uh -huh. Every day. And check email. Every day. He writes reports every day. Is correct or not, Ivania? Anything not correct. Not correct. Not correct. So, no. so, she, so he me. doesn't. He doesn't. Uh -huh. He doesn't. He doesn't. Write report. Perfect. He doesn't write report. Everything. Yeah, we got it. Excellent. Thank you very much, Ivania. Now let's see. Number three. 
He never answered the phone and talked to customers. Is that correct or not correct, Sonia? Not correct. Correct. Okay. Okay. What is the correct sentence? Um, he's um as were he always he always he always he always answered the phone okay he always the answered the phone and talked to customers perfect thank you very much number four he often attends meetings in the morning that's correct or incorrect walter arana Hello, Mr. Arana. Incorrect. Incorrect. Um, Look at here. Look at here. Yes, Beaka. it's correct. Ah, oh, yes, because he says, I attend meetings in the morning. You see? Yes. Now, let's see. Walter Ruiz, he never attends meetings in the afternoon. Is that correct or not correct? Correct. He never attends meetings in the afternoon. Look, mister, not so often. often. No tan a menudo, but he does it. No tan a menudo, pero he uh -huh. does it. You see? Okay. Okay, let's see. Now, next exercise. Just let me clean this. Okay, guys, we have a very short conversation. Listen to the conversation. I really need that memo, Bree. Just a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. It's very important right away. Okay, this conversation is pretty short. So let's listen again to it. I'm going to pronounce it one more time. I really need that memo, Bree. Just a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. It's very important right away. Okay, guys, you got the conversation? Do you, do all of you have the conversation? Tenemos todo el manual handy? If not, I'm going to send it to you right now because we are going to do it right now. This is very, very easy cheesy. So let's see who is going to start. You got it on the chat, the group, the conversation. Okay, let's see. Mr. Luis Armando Leiva and Walter Arana. Please, let's do the conversation. I start. Yes, please. Yes. Okay. I really need that memo B. Use a memo, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson. Please, it is very important. Right away. Just a moment, Walter. Just a moment. Okay, okay. thank you very much. Both thank of you. you. Susana and Edwin. Edwin, you start. Okay, teacher. I really need that memo, Bri. Just a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. It's very important. Right away. Thanks, Susana. Perfect. Sonia and Alfonso, you start. Alfonso, you start. I really need that memo brief just a moment please i need to speak to mr wilson please it's very important right right away right away right away right away okay. perfect thank you vladimir and evelyn vladimir you start okay i really need that memo brief just a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. It's very important. 
right away. Perfect. Hurry up. Maurice, Mauricio and Ivania. Mauricio, you okay. start. Okay, I really need the memory. Just a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. This is very important. Right away. Thank you. Perfect. Now, Mr. Walter Ruiz and Daisy. Walter, you start. Okay, teacher. I really need that memory. Yes. Just a moment, please, Daisy. Okay. Just a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. It's very important. Right away. Perfect. Excellent, Walter. Important. Excellent. You pronounce it correctly. Thank you. Now, Arvin and Sandra. Arvin, you start. I really need a memory break. Just a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. It's a very important. Right away. Okay, perfect. Well done. Now, let's see. Let's continue, guys, because today's class is long. We need to do another exercise. Let's go back to the manual, the same page. Regresamos al manual. Okay, look. We have to read the email and organize the activities Guadalupe needs to do by importance, okay? You will tell me What's the order by importance? Ustedes me la van a ordenar de acuerdo a como ustedes consideren que es más importante, okay? So, from Daniel Ruiz at favor.com. Subject, very important. Tasks for this month. Dear Guadalupe, these are some of the tasks for this month. I really need you to contact the first three potential customers in the list from Mr. Sanchez. You have Three days to do it, three hours each day. Call the new clients from the last three weeks and give them the catalog, the catalog information for June. You have two days to do it, one hour each day. It's very important to send the two latest sales reports on May 26th. And here there's a mistake. Aquí hay un error, le falta la N. And then write a new welcome letter for the new customer. You have one day to do it, four hours. Finally, visit the two stores in Santa Tecla. You have two days to do it, two hours each day. Organize your week. Thank you. Best regards, Daniel Ruiz. Okay, guys, what are you going to do? I need you to tell me what is in order of importance. What is the first? What is the second? What is the third? What is the fourth? What do you think is the correct order for those activities? Let me check. For me, the number one. Hello? Yes, Vladimir. Uh, for me, the number one is it's very important to send the two latest sales report on May 26th. Okay, that's the one that you consider is the most important. Okay, but this exercise, Vladimir, thank you very much. We are going to do it in groups of three members. You're going to have exactly five minutes, five minutes tops. Okay? That means that... Uh, 9.33, we back, okay? So let me recreate this. Okay, 
hubo Okay. Dear Guadalupe. The first. Okay. Um, these are some of the attacks for this month. Have you been able to contact the first three potential customers in the list from Mr. Charles? You have to treat days. Call the new client from the last three weeks. So this is the Horas H, no sé qué significa. Cada. Cada. Cada día, dice. Dice, llama al nuevo cliente de las últimas tres, en las últimas tres semanas y dale. Los, los, plural. A los, a los. Call the new client. Eso creo. Ajá. Ver, sí, la, qué, la segunda ¿qué, sería... ¿Qué oración es? ¿Qué, qué oración es? Bueno, yeah. ¿Qué oración está? Oh, teacher. Hello. Voy a compartir la pantalla. Uh, ah. Bueno, aquí lo he pasado yo a la página, a una página. Bueno, vale, nosotros la primera como importante que nos marca es esta. No se le ha pasado por acá. It's very important to send the two latest self-report on May 26th. The right welcome letter for the new customer. Okay, let's see. There's something that you need to take into an account, Edwin. Hay algo que debe tomar en cuenta. I really need... Es realmente necesito... That gives the degree of importance. Okay? Okay. Then comes, it is very important. Como segundo lugar sería, it is very important. Okay? La, bueno, the second place for me, it is. It is very important to send it to oh, the no, color. But yeah, look, Edwin. Yeah? Remember. When you say, I really need, is the first. That's the most important. Cuando le dicen, I really need, is the most important. Okay? I really need. Yes. Good day. Ah. Yeah. Two days to do it. Okay, Vladimir. Yes. Remember something. When you say, I really need to, that's the main, the most important. The second most yes. important, it is very it's important. Ah, and then okay. The rest. Okay. Oh, okay, and thanks. The and then the rest. Okay, guys. Look at me. Pay attention. Es que no nos queda ningún vestido. Yeah. Okay, listen up, listen up, listen up. Escúcheme. When you say, I really need to, that's the most important. Cuando usted le dice a alguien, realmente necesito, that's the most important. Then, it is very important. Luego viene, it is very important. And then the rest of activities. ¿Ok? Claro, entonces en este caso yo lo estaba ordenando de primero, llamar a los clientes potenciales, luego um, presentar a ellos a presentarles el catálogo, visitar las tiendas en Santa Tecla, que tengo dos okay. horas para listen, hacerlo. Listen, 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 Mauricio. ¿Me escuchó lo que le mencioné? Cuando usted dice, I really need, está diciendo lo más importante. Con en segundo lugar... Es cuando usted dice, it is very important. Ya le dije las primeras dos oraciones. Very important. 
antes del 26 de mayo entregar los reportes. Ok, that's la venta. La método de seccionarte. Ok, esta es la segunda actividad. And the first activity. Send the last report antes del 26 de mayo. Hello, ladies. Hello. Hello. Finish? Yes. Okay. Number one is I really need you to. That's number one. Number two. It is very important. Really need you to? Mm. Let me show you something. Déjenme mostrarles algo. Expressions to state urgency. Expresiones para mencionar urgencia. It is very important. I really need... Okay, those expressions express importance. So these and these are the main ones. Estas dos son las principales. What is teacher really need? And it's very important. Nosotros no nos fijamos en ese diálogo, en esa nota y lo estamos ordenando como creíamos que debía ser la prioridad. Uh -huh. De hecho, en, en estas le dimos prioridad a It's very import. O sea, okay. Como, como más say? importante. Uh -huh. Esta teníamos como uno. Ok, uh -huh. you can have it. You y can el have really it. need. Ajá, uh -huh. esa teníamos como uno. Eh, la, que, la secuencia. La secuencia es la dos y ya luego la tercera es la que dice I really need ok, mm. perfect excellent but we are going back to the main room pero nos vamos para el main room bye see you there ok Okay, now, let's see, everybody's back, okay, let's just wait, solo esperemos por los últimos, please, Sonia, move, you scare me when you stay like two percent. Oh, that's better. At least blink. At, at least blink. Al menos parpadea. I think you are frozen because you don't move at all. Okay. The same happens to Vladimir. Sometimes he stays like too concentrated. He doesn't move and I get like, what? Is he there? Okay, guys. That activity is homework. Send it to me. Uh, write it, all the sentences, and you send it to me, okay? Esa actividad es tarea. You will send it to me tomorrow. You have to type it. Tienen que digitarlo, uh, or do it in a piece of paper or whatever, but you send it to me in the order of first, second, third, fourth, okay? That's a homework. Now, we need to do another conversation, guys. Vamos a otra conversación. This unit got a lot of conversations, which is actually good. Okay, this is chart. And it says, well, the first instruction is listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. Listen to me. And is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes. 
actually, I need to call some client. And you? Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. I will repeat. And is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients. And you? Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. I will repeat one last time. And is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients. And you? Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. Hold on. Uh, they were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. Okay, Anne and John, you will work in pairs and practice the conversation. Let me see how are the groups. Oops, I need to move this person to group number. No, I need to move to room number one. And from okay, groups are created, guys. Two minutes. Hurry up. Just two minutes. I send you the audio of the pronunciation, okay? Let me be an audio. Hola. Sí, Is there something? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients and you. Do tomorrow. Yes, actually, I need to call. Some clients and you? Well, I have to reschedule. 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 Reschedule to meet in to, for tomorrow. They will cancel today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to priori provide important information to some some customers that sounds interesting that sounds interesting yes ahora you start and is there something you need to do to do tomorrow soon Rescapture, esa palabra siempre, siempre me traba. Uh, well, rescapture, okay. Well, I have to rescapture two meeting for tomorrow. There were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. That's so interesting. Okay. okay and customers, is there something customers 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 okay customers okay okay and is there something you need to do tomorrow yes actually i need to call some clients 
and you actually 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 okay yes actually well i have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow they were cancelled today oh that's too bad yes i have to provide important information to some customers that sounds interesting okay What happened, teacher? Okay, okay. Let's see, Vladimir and Walter Arana, please, you start. Okay. Who starts? Me. Who start, Vladimir? Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Um, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually. I need to call some client, and you? Well... I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. Okay, perfect. Now let's see. Sonia Mabel and Walter Ruiz, please. Walter, you start. Okay, teacher. And is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients. And you? Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were considered today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. Sounds. 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 Don't forget the yes. Yes, don't forget the yes at the end. Thank you very much. Now let's see. Alfonso and Daisy, please. Okay. Anne, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some client and you. Will, I have to rest you, rest schedule. Rest schedule. Rest schedule to meeting for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Now let's see. I need Arvin and Susanna. Please, Arvin, you start. Okay. Um, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes. Actually, I need to call some clients and you? Actually. Well, I have to rescue you two meetings for tomorrow, there were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. Okay, very good, very good. Important, important, and customers. Okay, customers. Thank you. Now let's see. Edwin and Mauricio, please. Yes. Edwin, you start. And is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually I need to call to some clients and you? Well, I have to reschedule two million for tomorrow. It will cancel today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customer. That's so interesting. Thanks, Mauricio. Okay. That sounds interesting. That sounds. That sounds interesting. 
Gracias. Perfect. Now let's see. Next is going to be Evelyn and Luis. Luis Armando, you start. Okay, teacher. And is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes. Actually, I need to call some clients, and you? Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They are canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide import information to some customers. That sounds interesting. That sounds interesting. Okay. Okay. Listen up. Okay. Risk issue. Risk issue, Luis. Perfect. Risk issue. Okay. Yes, like that. Now, the last group, Ivania and Sandra, please. Ivania, you are going to start. Okay. Um, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some guys. Well, I had to reschedule the meeting for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's what is Yes. Yes, I had to provide important information to some customer. That sounds interesting. Okay, guys. Very well done. Now, just let me check on something. Okay. Now, let's see. Let's see. Vladimir. Hello, mister. How are you? Good teacher, how are you? I'm just great. Tell me, Vladimir, tell me, please, something that you have to do tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning, I have a meeting. I have attend. I have to attend oh, a meeting. A meeting. Oh, really? A meeting. Yes. And tell me, at what time do you need to be in the meeting? At nine a.m. Nine a.m. Okay. Yes. What is, check, what is the meeting I about? At eight thirty. Uh, it's about a, a trouble that happens yesterday. I remember that I told you when the link crashed out. Oh, yes, yes, you were explaining to me that you had to stay there trying to yes. fix that. Yes. I, if I'm not mistaken, you told me that it took you like an hour and a half, something like that, right? And yeah, from 9.30 to 1.45 p.m. Oh, well, more than... Yes. Oh, interesting. Thank you very much. Okay, teacher. Now, let's see, let's see, let's see. Edwin. Hello, Edwin. Hello, teacher. Okay, let's see, Edwin. Hey, you got a, you got a t-shirt and your teacher is white with blue stripes, right? Sorry? You have a t-shirt, a t-shirt, huh? and your teacher is white. And blue with line stripes. stripes. White with blue stripe. Yes. yes. A rayas azul. Okay, tell me with uh, tell me something that you have to do tomorrow, please. Uh, have to very fast seven a.m. And okay, it that's not oh. it <laughs> Okay, no comment, no comment. Uh, Let's see. All Let's days, see. all days. Uh, every with, day. Uh, ah, every day with my turn is day. My verify, okay. my verify is pupusas. Oh. Whenever you have a turn during the day, a day shift. Tiene turno de día, right? Mañana. Yes. Okay. Tomorrow. That day 
chief. They chief. They chief. They chief. Okay. Y eso hasta ya sabe la persona que yo paso. Bueno, lo voy a decir en español. Sorry. Que ya sabe ella la pupusera cuando yo paso ya me las tiene estas especiales. Okay. The lady is a wear. Hasta tostadita oh, decir Edwin. Sí, yeah. doraditas. <ríe> y de queso. Ok. No comen. <ríe> no comen at all. The lady is... The lady is a wear. A wear. Are you passing? Passing? By... And uh, she has been ready. Ok. She has them. 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 Then really. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Who else? Who else? Tell me, Mr. Arana, tell me something that you have to do tomorrow, please. I, tomorrow, I have to get to prepare the tax returns, AFP form. APS, FH, and the most important of which band account are going to be canceled is before 3 p.m. Okay, so you really have to do the, all that stuff. It's mandatory. Yes. Thank you, Walter. What about you, Alfonso? Tell me something that you have to do tomorrow. Repeat it, sir. Tell me something that you have to do tomorrow. Um, yes. Tell me something that you have to do. Dígame algo que you have to do. Tiene que. Mm. Uh, I, um, I have to. Uh, I have to continue the cleaning of the machine. Oh, the machine. The machine, sorry. Okay, perfect. The one that you told me about or another one? Repeat. The one you told me about. De la que ya me dijo. Or yes. another one. Oh, so it's a big problem. Well, thank you, Alfonso. Sonia, tell me something that you have to do tomorrow. I have to check an authorized incentive payment for service inspectors. And I prepare a report. I have to. I have to prepare a report. I have to prepare a report. No sé cómo se dice este reporte, pero tengo que sacar un reporte de servicios y costos y eh, compararlo contra el presupuesto. Okay, services and costs. And, oh, I mean, I get, I get, I get. Ya lo entendí. Es un comparativo. Yes, ellos. yes. Hold Vigilando el cumplimiento. Pero denme un segundo. A ver. I am typing it for you. This is what you are going to do. You are going to cross-reference. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Cross-referencing. Cross-referencing es el comparativo. Yes, that's when you have this information, this information, and you get them together and you get out information out of them too. Cuando usted hace una, no es una referencia cruzada. Bueno, sí es una referencia cruzada cuando hacemos un comparativo. Tenemos información acá, información acá, las comparo ambas y saco deducciones o un reporte de esa misma. Right? Uh -huh. That's sí, what you're doing. Cross. Cross-referencing. So you're going to prepare a cross... El presupuesto, ¿cómo es? What? 
y verificar el cumplimiento al, del presupuesto, como digo. The fulfillment of budget. Budget. Fulfillment of budget. Teacher. Or you can also use comply. Yes, Vladimir. And the fulfillment that, I, of the I'm going to ask you that. I'm going to ask you that word, comply. In lugar de fulfillment, puedo usar comply. Eh, quiero ver. Su área es administración, ¿verdad? Sonia. Okay. Yo estoy en el okay. área de operaciones. Yes, yes, yes. But in that specific case, yes, Vladimir, in this specific case, it's not fulfillment, it's comply. En este caso específico es comply el verbo que va a utilizar. Because it's ah, technical. Not fulfillment. No. In this specific case, in este caso específico, because we are talking about a technical word. Okay? Es una palabra técnica. Y fulfillment, entonces, ¿cuándo se hizo? Well, I have to fulfill, debo de cumplir, with all the activities my boss assigned to me. Con todas las actividades que mi jefe me encomendó. ¿Como las metas o indicadores? Yeah. Yes, pero lo que usted está haciendo is overseeing. Usted está, eh, my gosh. Está sacando el vocabulario, mujer. Overseeing. No sé cómo se dice eso en español. Está. It's like supervising. Está verificando. Oh. I don't know how to say it in Spanish. I'm sorry, my gosh. Let, just give me a second. Uh -huh. Yes, it's a. Uh, Supervisar, but in this, sí, uh, in this, sí. in that sé lo que hay Saco lo que se, en lo que se incurrió, los costos y yes. servicios, hago el comparativo, detecto desviaciones, se toman acciones y cosas así. Okay, yes. But what I mean with oversee, lo que le doy a entender con oversee es este supervisar, but it's not a simple supervision. It's when you are in a position that you get the whole scope. Es cuando usted está en una posición que tiene la idea general de todo. Ok? Uh -huh. This is specific to her working area. Esto es muy específico para el área de trabajo de ella. Ok? In the vocabulary, with technical vocabulary, we have to be careful because the same word can have different meanings according to the area. La misma palabra puede tener significado distinto de acuerdo al área. Okay? Well, guys, it was very interesting. Ah, eso me va a enseñar a no preguntarle tanto. Jesus. No, it was fun, it was fun, it was fun. It's actually good. Realmente estuvo muy bueno. No, it's good when we get new vocabulary. Everybody's getting new vocabulary. Es bueno cuando todos tienen nuevo vocabulario. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, guys. Remember, tomorrow we need to do the midterm. Okay? Para mañana vamos a hacer el midterm. We have to. So, see you tomorrow. Work in the platform. Bye bye. See you tomorrow, Bye. Good night. Take care. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. See you, mister. Teacher, una consulta. ¿Es en este yes, link o en otro? No, here, 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 right here. Ah, oh, okay. Teacher, repeat and the meeting tomorrow. The midterm, midterm, el examen de, de medio curso. Ah, platform. Yes, in the platform. Okay. Bye, Alfonso. Tomorrow, good night. Good night, Vania. Bye, bye. Okay, my dear Ivania, tell me, how could I help you? ¿Cómo sentimos? ¿Cómo vamos? With the course. Yeah. Um, me cuesta un poquito el relacionar las oraciones. Okay. O sea, 
o sea, eh, el yo entenderle, eh, el, el, cuando usted me dice algo, sí, ¿verdad? Pero después yo ver, ya venir a traducir, o sea, el venir a hacer la oración, es donde yo me cuesta un poco. Ok, so when I am speaking, you understand. But when I ask you, it's more difficult for you to answer. Uh -huh. Cuando yo hablo, usted me entiende, pero si le pregunto, uh -huh. es más difícil contestar. Ok, that's very simple, uh -huh. Ivania. That's just a matter of practice. Eso es simplemente una cuestión de práctica. Because uh -huh. if you are understanding what I say, si usted me está entendiendo lo que le digo, eh, actually what you just need is to, to reproduce your ideas. But the aspect, I mean, the aspect that is missing here is that you are still a little bit slow in thinking in English. Lo que sucede es que usted todavía está un poquito lenta en pensar en inglés. But that's a process. Eso es un proceso, ¿ok? That's mm -hmm. a process. It will take a little bit of time. Y esto tomará un poquito de tiempo. What you need to do is keep on practice. What you need is to keep on practice. Listening activity. Más que todo tenemos que practicarnos en actividad de listening. Uh -huh. okay. Why? O sea, me dice, ¿por qué si lo que yo quiero es hablar? The thing is uh -huh. this. Uh, as long as you get more vocabulary, mientras usted adquiera, if you acquire more vocabulary, it is going to be easier for you to build up your sentence. Se le va a hacer más fácil el construir, el reproducir what you are thinking. Okay? I mean, okay. The most, the most listening activities that you perform, mientras más actividades de listening, it's going to be easier for you to have the vocabulary and all the tools you need to speak. Más que más fácil para que usted tenga el vocabulary y las herramientas que necesita. So, that's what we are going to do. I will give you more exercises of listening so you can speak. And something mm -hmm. else that you need to do is uh, practice the conversations. All the conversations that I send you the recording, practice them. It's going to help you. I mean, this is like a esto es mechanic. That means that you need to practice, practice, practice. It's true repetition. Uh, do you have little kids? Tiene chiquitos? Sí, una oh, Okay. ¿Cómo aprenden los niños a hablar? Repitiendo. ¿Qué hacemos nosotros para que los niños aprendan a decir una palabra? Usted comenzó a decirle mamá, 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 para que diga mamá, ¿verdad? Es uh -huh. exactly the same process. Es exactamente okay. lo mismo. Of course, as we are adults, I am giving you more vocabulary. Como somos adultos, le doy más vocabulario. But the exercise, I mean, is exactly the same. Repetition. Repetition is going to help you to internalize. La repetición le va a ayudar a internalizar. No sé cómo se dice eso. To internalize. Meterse allá adentro. Ok. Yeah. To internalize yeah. the vocabulary. And the most vocabulary you have, mientras más vocabulario conozca, it's going to be easier. It's better when you get situations or sentences. Es mejor cuando usted ya tiene situaciones o oraciones because you are able to reproduce the whole sentence. Porque usted ya va a ser capaz de decir la oración completa, the whole idea. Si usted tiene una idea ya estructurada, este, como por ejemplo cuando yo vengo y yo le pregunto, what's your name? Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. My name is Ivani Rodríguez. Oh, okay. Simple, ¿verdad? Esa estructura ya la conoce. Entonces, uh -huh. cuando yo vengo y le hago una pregunta, what is your daughter's name? My daughter's name, oh, sería, his name is María Fernando. Ok, ¿qué hizo usted? Con la estructura que yo ya tenía, solo le hizo una pequeña uh -huh. modificación, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Como la primera estructura, la base, su mente ya la conoce, lo único que ha hecho es agregarle más vocabulario que el crimen después. ¿Right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's exactly the same. 
es exactamente lo mismo. The problem is eh, that we need more vocabulary. Yes, tell me. Tengo una, Dígame. este, eh, eso, lo que usted menciona, o sea, a veces uno ya, ya, ya capta la idea porque como lo que ha venido aprendiendo en el curso, pues, o sea, ya lo va poniendo un poquito más en práctica, ¿verdad? Pero ahí donde yo, pues, donde me queda a veces la duda, o sea, porque cuando usted nos está enseñando... Por ejemplo, los auxiliares, el, el simple pass, entonces ya veo, me, o sea, agrega un poco más y después en otra clase otro más y yo me, me empiezo a confundir en qué momento, cuando se dé la práctica de, 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 de hacer una oración, en qué momento voy a saber yo aplicar esa, eh, esa. Lo que pasa, mire, el mayor error, quizás no el mayor error, sino que el obstáculo más grandecito que tenemos es que ya somos adultos. Como somos adultos, nuestra mente nos pide razones. ¿Por qué lo dice así? Uh -huh. ¿Por qué ahora lo dice así? Y eso nos vuelve uh -huh. lentos. Aquí yo necesito que usted me haga un acto de fe. Uh -huh. Que no se cuestione. ¿Por qué es esto de esta manera y por qué no es de otra manera? No se cuestione. Solo acéptelo. Uh -huh. Va a ser más fácil para su aprendizaje. It's actually okay. true, ¿ok? La gente dice que los niños son esponjitas y esto y lo otro, ¿verdad? ¿Sí? What happens is that they don't know, but eh, de acuerdo al desarrollo cognitivo del aprendizaje, ellos están en una etapa en la cual ellos todavía no piensan de una manera compleja, entonces ellos aceptan, ¿ok? Al niño chiquito, usted cuando tenía este... A un niño pequeño, usted cuando tiene dos, tres años, todo lo que usted le dice es ley, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Luego van a la escuela. Cuando van a la escuela, lo que dice la profesora en el kinder, eso es ley. Por encima de lo no. que dicen los papás. Uh -huh. that, that happens. That happens. Uh -huh. okay? They are just accepting, acquiring information. ¿Ok? Internalizing the information. Cuando llegamos, ya después de los 14, 15, cuando nos comenzamos a revelar y a todos queremos saber por qué, ¿verdad? That's different. That's the moment when we become a little bit more slower. Ahí es cuando nos volvemos un poquito más lentos to learn a language, para aprender un idioma. Not impossible, but we need to get rid of that barrier. Pero sí tenemos que zafarnos de esa barrera. ¿sabes? Don't overthink it. No lo sobrepiense. Just, if you see the structure, y yo le digo, o oh, sus próximos teachers le dicen, esta es la estructura, es de esta manera. Don't worry. Remember, no trate de pensarla. Usted la va a tratar de pensar en español y no le va a funcionar. Because it's another language. Porque es otro idioma. Okay? Structures are different. Las estructuras son distintas. And something else is this, Ivania. Que no me lo tome como que, uy, qué pesado, porque entonces qué complicado. Cada idioma es una manera de pensar distinta. Okay. Cuando hablar de una manera de pensar es una manera de enfocarse a la hora de expresar las cosas diferentes. Pero aquí tenemos un beneficio. English is easier to think than Spanish. El inglés es más fácil para pensar que el español. It's simple, yes, it is. It is. It's a simple language. To think is easier to think in English rather than in Spanish. Es más fácil pensar en inglés que pensar en español. Ah, eso sí. At the level that you are right now, al nivel que están ustedes ya, ustedes ya están pensando en inglés. Because some things you don't need to process. Hay algunas cosas que usted no necesita procesarlas. Automatically, your mind is telling you the answer. Automáticamente, su mente le da la respuesta. Right? So, let's do this. I will start sending you extra work so you can practice, ¿ok? Le voy a comenzar a mandar. Ah, ok. Ok. Y otra cosa, en el caso del vocabulario, este, usted, o sea, un listado, por decirlo así, para más o menos ir conociendo más palabras o algo, no... No tiene usted. En the activities that I will send you, en las actividades que yo le voy a mandar, eh, ahí le voy a explicar uh -huh. cómo puede sacar también más vocabulario. ¿Okay? Uh -huh. Sí, porque, worry, o sea, hay palabritas que. Ok, porque hay palabritas que uno tal vez no conoce, pero tal vez la oración la lleva, pero ya la palabra lo confunde a uno. ¿Qué significa, verdad? Yes, yes, but don't worry, I got you covered, no se preocupe, ya lo tengo cubierto eso. Ah, ok, perfecto. Sí, con gusto. Yo, yo, yo necesito esa ayuda. 
Ok, I will push you a little bit. La voy a presionar un poquito, ok. No, está bien, perfecto. Ok, thank you very much, Ivania. Have a good night. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Bye bye. Be yeah. early. Trata de estar temprano. Está bien, teacher. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Gracias, teacher. teacher. Bye. Bye bye. Yeah. Bye. Sí, mira. Okay, and that was today's session. Let's see. We need to end this right now. 